Hello again, again, meaning assuming you've watched one of these before and aren't a newcomer. Welcome to Minecraft Cosmos with me, Noxter. We're building a battleship. Well, a warship. I don't know. It's, it's really a technically difference. When I think of a battleship, I think of the more modern kind. So, yes, this is the Battalia. As we last left it, looking like a giant wooden bathtub, we're going to start fleshing out, giving it a bit more of that detail that it needs. So, there's a lot of things to add. It's a big question of where to start. So, let's just have a general overview. This is big and empty, but there's going to be like a bunch of different decks and things in here. So, at the very bottom is the hold. Then you've got here, this will be one deck, which is the, I think, is the Orlop deck. And then above that, we've got here is the gun deck, which is level with this, which is where all the fun stuff happens. And above that, you've got the main deck, or the weather deck, because it's the one that's out in the open, or at least this bit is, under the ends, obviously it isn't, because on... In the stern you have the poop deck, and in the forward you've got the forecastle deck above that. So, what we're going to start with... One thing I'm not sure about with, like, in the original prototype I built, all the decks were block, whole blocks, because that's, that's how things worked then, there weren't the slabs you can put them on the top. But now that you can, I'm not sure whether some parts or bits of the deck might not be just made from slabs to make them a bit thinner, give a bit more headroom in the deck below. I'm not sure, but I'll experiment with that. So it, this hole, I think, is not actually going to be a hole, but that one will be. But we are going to have a hole right here. So... Yeah, there's a few bits where there's holes which are left intentionally. But yes, this is where going to be where the anchor comes in. Because this is our deck. Let's just build a little bit, bit of it here. Um, what do I have? I think I... Wait. Sorry, I'm too high up. Making mistakes already. This is supposed to be level with this. Alrighty. So, we got some anchor cable in here. Or iron bars, as this might be more commonly known. Now that comes in here, and we need to build a capstan. I'm just trying to remember how far in it comes. I might just go and double check that. Alright, so it comes in here. Let's start off just by figuring this bit out. So this is going to be our corner. The cable wraps around the barrel of the capstan. And it should make a sort of a 4x4 four four square. Something like... It's always tricky with these fences because they don't like they don't extend out to the middle of the block, so sometimes it looks like they're not covering the full area that they are. So yeah, there should be two a two by two space in the middle. So this looks actually really big like this. That's because we don't have all the other spaces to put it in comparison to. Alright, so we're going to make a few of... What's the number we need? A few jungle wood stairs. And they're going to go underneath here. I'm going to have to build a bit more of a deck so I've got somewhere to stand. So that comes out like so. Alrighty. And like that. Now, at the bottom, I think... 
can't actually get on there from here. I think this bit's just sort of sealed off, so we'll just fill that in with planks. But then we have some logs to be the barrel. And then above that, we have fences. And then above that, more stairs. So all we see on this deck is just this little drum thing with the cable wrapping around it. And the next deck up is going to be right on top of that. So it's neatly sandwiched in. So yeah, this is where that'll be. And then above that, on the main deck, is the spot where we actually control it from. So, a capstan bars, I guess. Or, well, well, the bit where those are. So, that works, I believe. I just had it come like that. And then we use fence gates, which we're going to want to turn it probably that way. That stick out like this. And I need a couple more of these stair guys, don't I? Oop. Need too many. And they just make a little twirly shape. You can just open up the handles. Like so. Let me just double check that that's all correct. Yep, that looks right. Now, so that's, you know, all the capstan part. So basically you've got the cable wraps around a drum and up on this deck the people shove here around the handles to turn it up to wind the anchor up or down. Now, we need the actual anchor itself. So, we're going to have to go outside. Let's just dig through the wall because I think it's going to be a window here later anyway. Whoop. So. Where be this anchor cable? Got to find a spot just so I can stand and reach. Alright, I believe the way I did that was it comes down and then out and then down some more. Something like that. Now are we going to be able to reach that from here? We are. Good. Alright, let's bust out one of these boys so that we can see now, of course, this is not a full block and it's going into water. That's going to make a bit of a mess up of that. Not much we can do about that. So the cable goes down. Now the anchor itself, of course, wants to be directly beneath that. And the way I did that, let's make sure it's lined up. I believe it goes there. How are we going to do this? If it goes like that, it'll look a bit like it's sunk into that bit of the ground. And then slab. It's kind of hard to see because of the whole derpy water, but oh well. Let's just take a breath of air. And then that. Cobblestone walls. Very nice feature for this. Other than, obviously, the derpy water around it. And then a block of iron to 
cap it off which connects to our cable so if we do that again you kind of have to ignore the way the water looks but that's quite a nice anchory shape like that I'm wondering did I bring too many of those or did I have in mind it being a different length anyway so that way we can now safely say our ship will not be able to drift very much yeah it looks actually better you can see it from on the surface you can see the shape of it without the water messing it up so much just have to look at a nice distance So that's it. almost think it would be nice to have it actually one block lower so it's more sunk into the ground, I don't know. But then you wouldn't be able to see the shape so well. So I think that's probably fine for now. Alright, I think what I'm going to do next is start building the masts. So the main mast, this is where it lines up and it goes right through the centre of everything. So... We find the middle. Yep. So right there. And this is the bit where we find we don't have anywhere near enough of these logs as we actually need. So I'm just going to fill the core of it up with just regular planks. But the mast itself is made of the spruce logs. Alright, and the tricky thing is the height, because a recent, a recent adaption I made to the plan was made the masts a lot higher than I originally had them. So, that, which, yeah, I've tested out the height that I've now got it set to, and I think I'm fairly happy with that. But, the for the other masts, actually, I, I didn't do that different, and I'm going to have to adjust those a little bit because they'll be slightly different from the way I had them. Alright, so now we're level with the main deck. And let's just double check our height wants to come up from there up to there. Which I think, did I say 26? So, tell you what, let's even just do it like this. So if we do that, we've got 26 blocks on the bar. So, hello down there. Alright, so this is where the mast comes up to at this thickness and then it gets narrower, which I guess is the bit that would correspond to that changing to the top mast from the other bit, whatever they call it. So we're just going to do this up all the way. That is not how masts ought to go. I'm just going to finish off the other two sides up to that level. And the top mast section should be 18 blocks above that. So let's go all the way up. Wow, it looks quite fancy from up here. Quite fancy indeed. Now, there is a section on top that's fence posts. I haven't actually measured that out in the plan, so I'm just going to... Because it does go up and then there's a flagpole as well. So I, I might actually do that later, come back with supplies to make the flag as well. So for now we'll just stick with that. Um, well, from down here it doesn't look as tall as it did from up there. I guess it's a good thing. Well, like when I was up there I was feeling like way, way high. Now it's like, it looks like a more reasonable height. So it's yeah, good to make sure you know what height the thing is actually going to be, because from different angles it 
might not look as impressive as it does from some. So that's the main mast. Now, which bit to do next? I think what I'll do is make the shrouds, actually. So, these, these are also actually a fairly new addition to the plan that I added. So, like, they weren't part of the original prototype. So, a fairly new addition, but it makes the thing look a lot better and be a lot more cluttered and <laughs> everything. So, I'm, I'm just going to check, check the design and figure out how to actually attach these. So, the purpose of the shrouds is to help support the mast. So, if you imagine, you know, you've got this big mast. What we want to do is attach some ropes from here to here to help stop the mast from going all wonky. So you've probably seen, if you look at pictures of ships or whatever, they're these fancy crisscross line of ropes. So it sort of makes like a crisscross shape, as I was saying. The vertical ones that actually do the main supporting are the shrouds, and the little ones they tie across are the rat lines, or I think I actually pronounce it as just ratlins for short. And those they just use to help them climb up. So we're going to attach them on, so slab, stair, slab, stair, slab, and that lines up with the mast, and that makes it this little support thing here. And we're just going to do, well it's going to be all the way along like this, we're just going to start from this end, because this one doesn't come in more, it's a little bit easier to start from. So, let's see. It goes up two, I think. Yep, so up two like that. And it's a fairly regular pattern for most of it. Let's just double check. And then, yeah, we come in. And up three more. So one, two, three, four. Do, do, do. Bomp, 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 le, de, de, de. Gotta make sure we don't miss the number. Yeah, so we're using the fences just because they're nice. And they're kind of the closest thing we can get to making it look right. Now, the way I had it... I think... According to the actual plan, it goes like this. The way the actual prototype was it had this section lower down and the next section shorter but that may have been a mistake or I may have adjusted it to for some other purpose uh, what, what does it say for the this other view here yeah I think I might do it that way so let's see I bother I didn't actually want to be all the way down here See if I can do something amazing with this. Actually, let's go up to there first. Yeah, so if we pop up to there, get some dirt. Step back so we can have a look. I think what happened was I made this last section shorter, so it was just like that, and finished like that. Oh, dagnabbit. Anyway, so that's, that's the easy part of it. How do I, how do, I need a better way to get up from here. Which won't be a problem when there's decks and down here is a different place altogether. But at the moment, it's it's a work in progress. You just have to accept these things. That's what makes building fun. Like, if you want to build in creative mode and just fly around to where you need to be, fine. 
But if you want to actually have the fun of being a builder and having to navigate the structure, then hey, that's fun. So now we've got that to line it up within this axis. Now, axis, axis, wrong word. From the horizontal view, this goes up three, so one, two, three, and then it comes, ooh, big numbers, six, 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 four. So that's fairly easy to remember. So, except we have to remember to also line it up with here. So in reality, that's actually here. So yes, it is a little bit trickier than I... Um, Alright, so that's... So yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we ditch this end and just go... Right. Um, silly fences. Very confusing because it's obviously the different sizes from what they look. And we've got to not confuse the bits where we step in that way with the bits where we step across this way. So that comes up to here. So that's up two from that gap. And we go in this way and up another Yeah, one, two, three. That's level with that, isn't it? So, four. So that should total six, correct? One, two, three, four, five, something. Yeah, they're not, not as easy as you'd think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so that's that's all good and dandy. So apparently I've managed to fill up my hard drive and the recording cut out on me. But yeah, I finished that side off. It was, it was very disconcerting. I was like, all right, then we're doing that. And then we look back and then we need... Oh, I'm, I'm just talking to myself and no one is listening. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. And yeah, as I was just about to say... We need to then just repeat that on the other side, so I'll do that. Looking more like a real ship every day. Now one thing, like here we've got the shroud supporting the mast, they only go up to halfway, and because if they went all the way to the top, they wouldn't, like the angle wouldn't be enough to give them enough support. So what they would do on a real ship, they would have a build their little top, which is a small platform up there, and connect that to down here with more lines that way, and then have more shrouds going up to the top. But we're not going to go into that sort of detail, just because it's going to be very cluttered on this sort of scale, using whole big blocky block. Alright, so what I want to do next is maybe work on some of the steering mechanism with the rudder and the helm and stuff. So I think I'm going to start by just working on building the poop deck area or a little bit more of it of the shape so i'm going to start building the mizzen mast which is the hindmost mast and that goes next to this bit here is where it lines up with i'm not gonna i don't think i'll do the whole mast at this stage i'll just build up to where it goes above the level of the poop deck so Again, same thing, we're going to make a core out of just planks and surround it with the logs. So I'm going to take that up to that level, maybe just fill in some of the deck there, and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so I've done a little bit of work around here. Not the whole lot. I've got all this back wall done and most of the decorations. There needs to be doors and things around in here that I haven't got around to yet. It's a bit more open anyway, so easy to get through during the construction. I filled in this deck, and partially filled in the one up there. It actually looks ridiculously spacious in here, which... This is actually going to end up being one of the most spacious areas of the interior. And up here, I've 
built this little platformy bit, and this is where the helm is going to go, which is the steering wheel of the ship. Now, if you know what a good ship steering wheel is supposed to look like, you've got a sort of a center hub with spokes and things all around it. That's really, really hard to recreate in Minecraft, so this is the best I was able to come up with. I'm just going to get rid of that for a sec. And that involves pretty much just like this. On that back there, I'm going to stick some item frames with a compass and maybe a clock and a map. That's not meant to be a torch. Alright. So, like that. And the other thing I did was to put one of these in the center. So that looks kind of silly and not really the right shape, but it's kind of the best we can do. So then underneath, so if you kind of imagine what that wheel actually does, and what it does is it connects to here, it actually turns a bunch of ropes. So if you imagine you've got then, if you imagine this is sort of two ropes going down here, next to each other, so that when it turns that way, it's like turning a pulley system. And then, under here, those ropes are going to run along some beams. Which go, how far out do they go? One, two, three, four. Four, there, one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, right to the edge. And uh -huh. yeah, this looks right. And some more ropes to look like mechanism -y type stuff. goes all the way above that. So this area in here is the tiller sweep, which is the area where the tiller sweeps. So we have a tiller. Now is that? Yeah, that is at this level. So those ropes that came down here loop around, go through another pulley here, and attach to either side of the tiller. And the tiller is going to pivot from this side, so that when you turn the wheel that way, this rope gets pulled and pulls the tiller to that side. So this tiller is then going to be directly attached to the rudder, which goes, make sure we, yeah, it's in the back wall, I think. So that will come down. Yeah, because we've got the top and then it's. Yes, that's right. So this is the axis of the rudder, which goes like that. So now, when you turn the wheel to the right, it turns the rudder that way, which will make the ship turn right. And then just some extra. Must have used up all my fences. But some extra structure detail, I had fences along there as well. Just to make it look more detailed and structural, I guess. Hmm. Make some fences. And that's probably not going to be enough. And that runs along. Oh, that's right. It also needs to go down, doesn't it? How far down does it go? I think... Yeah, I think it just goes and sits in there. Possibly. Possibly. So let's do that quickly. And I'll compare it on the prototype after I've done this, just to make sure that's right. Uh, Inventory pool now. Uh, that guy, that guy. Uh, uh, fine. Make 
I get. I think that's how that goes. Oops. Now, that rudder itself. Let's go down a level. The rudder itself should. Um, I think. No, this is like that. Ah, that's right. This thing actually comes down and is part of the window framey stuff of this level down here. That's what it does. But yes, the. Thank you, I wanted to be out here. The rudder itself. Now we have a little supporty bit, which is a fence gate. And we're under the water. Which, that goes, I think, level with the water, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Which, again, is going to make another one of these silly, derpy-looking patches. And let's just... Oops. This extends all the way down here. Which, again, is that same thing connected to that tiller up there. And yeah, anchored here, it kind of looks like a little attachment because it's attached on both sides. Now how far down, oop, wrong thing, we're in two, three, four, five, below. So that comes down to the same level as the keel, it looks like. And then, out this way, like so. And on the top, what does it do? Well, level, actually, it's just level with this anchor point. It's one, two, three. And if we fill this in, let's drink one of our things so we can see. Yeah, so that's like that, so it curves in at the end. Make some more planks to work with. Like this one we dropped. Alright, so yeah, that gets filled in. Is this thing symmetrical? I think it might be. So above the surface, which to be fair, having the rudder stick up this high above the water is a little bit useless. Because it's only the rudder dragging through the water that creates the turning effect. But, yeah. And I guess if you think about it, there might be waves and stuff, so the water level might actually be higher than that. Actually, this side it is a bit different. It's like that. Yeah. So, now that's attached on there, and that goes all the way up, and is actually connected to a mechanism that obviously doesn't really work, but imaginarily works. Oh, I made it. So if we climb up here, oh, I didn't do the rest of the fences on this side. Never mind. I'll finish that off later. So now, obviously, again, just like the anchor and everything else, this is stuff that doesn't really work, but it looks like it could actually work if you just imagine it was a real thing. And, I mean, if you're going to build anything in Minecraft, it's not a real thing. It's a virtual thing on a stored on your hard drive. So you might as well make stuff that looks awesome as well. I mean... We're building an entire ship that's not going to work. <laughs> it can't sail anywhere. So, yeah. Nice little details. If you're going to go to the trouble of building a thing that looks awesome like it could go places, make it look awesome like it can steer as well. That's, that's my motto. So this, we've made a little bit of progress, but I'm, I'm imagining there's enough there to fill up a whole episode of a good length. So I'm going to call it a day. Next time we'll get some more work done probably on this, unless something else comes up that I think of doing. 
But yeah, definitely made a lot of progress. It's starting to look more like a ship. Still very boring and bland sides, but that will be loaded with awesome things later. Let's get a nice... I don't know where the best place to get a view is from. But yeah, you can see it's taking shape. Getting very ex ouch. Very exciting to see. It finally. Again, this is the thing I originally started to build the original prototype over a year ago or something, so it is kind of exciting to actually get it finally done and coming into construction. So Oh hello. Hi. You wanna say goodbye to everybody. Alright, so thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you next time. Again, feel free to leave an appropriate form of feedback if you so desire. Uh oh. Goodbye! So long, sucker.